The underarm skin is very delicate and when irritated long enough, it can lead to underarm hyperpigmentation or dark armpits. It even gets a little trickier because the underarm skin area folds on itself. So we have to take that into account as well. And if you're looking to brighten the skin under your arms, you've probably seen many DIY videos using things like lemon masks and baking soda, but not all those work. So let's put those to the side for a minute and dissect what the actual causes are, the best ways to get rid of underarm pigmentation, and finally how to stop dark armpits from getting even darker. Also real quick before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and turn the bell on next to it to stay up to date with new weekly videos. Videos. Let's face it, dark underarms could be the reason why you don't wear your favorite sleeveless dress. And if that's the case, I'm sure you look beautiful in it regardless. The good news is that it's po entirely possible to get rid of discolored skin pigment in the armpit region, which we will go over. But before that, let's look at what causes dark armpits. If we know the cause, we can help get to the solution that much faster. There are many causes, but some of the most common ones are Number one, acanthosis nigricans, which is a skin pigmentation disorder associated with diabetes. It can affect the knuckles and neck as well as some other areas too, but more so if you weigh more than 200% of your IBW. Number two, friction caused by long-term wearing of tight clothes, because remember, our skin likes to breathe and the skin's response to tight friction is to be become hard. And when that happens, the skin turns dark. Number three, Abrasion caused by shaving in the armpits and not having good shaving technique, which also causes the skin to become hardened over time. Number four, chemicals in your deodorant that your skin doesn't work well with. Let's say if they're either too drying or irritating, or if they just clog the pores in your armpits in general. Number five, excessive sweating in the area. And number six, smoking, which causes an increase in the concentration of melanin in the skin and leads to hyperpigmentation. Whenever you are trying to correct discoloration in general, time and patience are key. And with that said, the first thing you can do is incorporate exfoliation. Use a gentle body scrub or exfoliant on the area two to three times per week. And since the underarm skin is thin and delicate, Get a gentle exfoliant. Chemical exfoliants contain ingredients like lactic acid, glycolic acid, or salicylic acid are going to be ideal. If your armpits are sensitive, use lactic acid. The M-lactin one contains 15% lactic acid. That's also a great moisturizer at the same time. Use glycolic acid if you want to loosen up the skin in the area. QRX Labs has a 20% glycolic acid, which also contains allantoin green tea and calendula extract. And use salicylic acid if you want it to get deeper into the pores. The CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser Bar works nicely. I recommend doing a spot test for your product before you actually apply it to the underarm because if you have a reaction to the product, it can make your underarms worse. For all of these, after you know your skin accepts the product, you want to start by wetting the underarm skin with warm water to soften it, apply a small amount of the exfoliant to your fingertips or a soft washcloth, and gently massage the exfoliant in circular motions, focusing on the entire underarm area. And as tempting as it may be, don't be aggressive when it comes to scrubbing your underarms. Physical pressure, depending on how much pressure that you use, can cause irritation and worsen this problem. Secondly, after you get into the routine of using a gentle exfoliator a couple times a week, you want to bring on those skin lightening agents. The first one should be kojic acid. You see, we all need an amino acid called tyrosine to make melanin. Kojic acid works by blocking tyrosine from forming, which then prevents melanin production. When you have less melanin production, that brings on those lightening effects in the skin that you're looking for. This video I made here goes into that e in even more depth. And the one I would go with is the Valatec Kojic Acid Dark Spot Removing Soap. What's great about it is that it also contains vitamin C, retinol, collagen, and one of my favorite ingredients, turmeric. And to use it, it's pretty easy. Wet your underarms and lather up the soap, then use a circular motion, massage the soap into your skin for about 20 to 30 seconds. Some say it has worked when they massage it for even longer periods, like 10 to 15 minutes, but this will depend entirely on the person. So there are no set rules. Once done though, rinse off the soap and pat your underarms dry 
and then you could repeat the process once or twice a day for best results. If I were to throw in a DIY to do as well, because I'm sure I'll be asked in the comments, this is the one I would go with. Go ahead and mix one tablespoon of milk, one tablespoon of rose water with enough powdered orange peel to make a thick paste. Once you get your paste, gently scrub your underarms and then leave it on for about 15 minutes before rinsing it off with cool water. Do this on alternating days. A second DIY just to throw in there, you could also grate a potato, squeeze the juice from the grated potato and apply the juice to your underarms for 10 minutes as well before you rinse it off. But thirdly, now that we exfoliated and used the Kojic Acid Soap and maybe tried out a DIY or two from the recipes I mentioned, you're gonna have to moisturize. But what if there was a way to moisturize and use deodorant at the same time? Well, you can get with a deodorant cream the Forgotten Skincare Brightening Deodorant Cream is a good solution since it can help stop odor and provide brightening effects both at the same time. What I like about it is that it contains aloe leaf juice, vitamin C, and bear berry extract. Now, some people may prefer to stop using deodorant or antiperspirants altogether, but know that not all deodorants are the same. Some are guilty of darkening your armpits, but there are some that can help brighten them up too. And if your underarms are very sensitive, note that you don't have to go with that product, but you do need one that doesn't contain sodium bicarbonate and Vanna Cream does an excellent job with their deodorant ingredients as well. And the fourth tip is to really master your shaving technique. If you shave, keep in mind that shaving without shaving cream is probably your number one mistake here. If you shave to remove hair under your arms, you need a cream to reduce friction. EOS makes a great shea butter shave cream, but also keep in mind your armpits may be more sensitive to nickel. Theoretically, you may be allergic to your razor blade if you also develop rashes at the location of your belt buckle or certain jewelry. If you're allergic to nickel, look into laser treatments as it could be a better option for you. And lastly, number five, after we exfoliate, use our Kojic Acid Soap and our DIY recipes and a nice moisturizing deodorant, and hopefully by now we've mastered our shaving technique as well. Eliminate every possible thing that gets in the way of these techniques from working. One is avoid waxing. Let's say if you have thick, coarse hair, waxing can lead to inflammation through ingrown hairs, which can make the dark spots appear more prominently. Two, if you do shave, try to shave in the same direction and the hair grows in. Three, always moisturize after you remove your hairs. Four, Wear loose clothing. And five, get professional help if all else fails. Sometimes a dermatologist might give you hydroquinone cream to lighten the color of the skin, and that could work. And sometimes you might need a TCA peel to remove damaged skin cells. Remember, there's no overnight fix for discoloration. It'll take multiple months of regular in-office or at-home treatments to achieve these noticeable results, but just know it is possible to remove them. Take a moment and reset your expectations and reevaluate your plans and leave comments down below in the description and I'll try to get back to you. In the meantime, guys, if you did enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel and turn the bell on and I'll see you guys on the next one.